Your time is 6.43. If you've lived in Kern County long enough, you're likely adept at extolling our beautiful sights and rich history for newcomers and outsiders. But even if you've lived here most of your life, like I have, there's a piece of history hiding in the hills in Tehachapi you've likely never heard of. <laughs> Tucked away on a private swath of land in the Tehachapi Mountains is a part of Kern County history not many people know about. They're called the Oak Creek Wild Horses, and their origin is still somewhat of a mystery. At the sound of Diana Palmer's truck, they come galloping. Out of a cloud of dust and beneath the shadows of the wind turbines, you can see a small herd of about 80 horses taking shape. They know she's bringing food, something that isn't easy to find without her help in these drought-stricken hills. The food is meant just to be a supplement. We want them to keep foraging to find their own food. The horses were here when the current landowners bought the property in the 50s. All I can trace is back to like 1930, 31, for sure. Articles and essays have been written about the herd and its mysterious origins. Western artist Jack Swanson wrote about seeing them in the 1940s when he rode with the Caros in the mountains of Tehachapi. At that time, they were considered by many to be the thing of legends, talked about but rarely seen. Before that, it's surmised they could have gotten loose from a herd belonging to one of the cattle ranchers in the area. In the early 1900s, there were several ranchers in Kern County using what are known as Morgan horses that bear a striking resemblance to those of the Oak Creek herd. The horses lived mostly undisturbed until the early 2000s. That's when Palmer noticed the herd was getting too big for the amount of food in the area. She took on the unofficial role of caretaker, adopting out foals, providing veterinary care, and supplementing their food and water. Ben and I are property caretakers for the primary landowner up here since 1986. And uh, it's not part of my job, but when you drive by every day and you see the herd growing and there's no graze, her love for the horses has turned into a passion for digging up their roots through old records and even DNA testing. So far, no one can break the mystery. Right now, Diana is able to supplement the feeding of the horses through donations from visitors. But due to the drought, another winter could come soon when regular feeding will be necessary. In the Tehachapi Mountains, I'm Maddie Jansen, 17 News.